what young india wants this is the title of a book by chetan bhagat the best selling author who has been internationally acclaimed and has been considered as uh, the 100 most important uh, one of the 100 most important persons in india or, or or internationally i just came across this book uh, what in india wants a few years ago a couple of years ago and there was a student of mine who was an american who was reading that book and it was in her book shelf and i was visiting india at the time and i was reading it and since the time i wanted to do something about this book and also uh, the topic what in india wants and uh, young indians are frustrated and chetan bhagat uh, mentions a lot about corruption and who succeeds uh, in life is those who have political connections and the politicians are corrupt and merit doesn't matter and people relate to chetan's uh, ideas because he is uh, speaking the truth and i went to the united states because i was invited by a professor to come and uh, do research based on the research i had done here and i went there to do my phd and then i moved heaven and earth to get me there you know financially and other under other ways too but whereas here uh, i had to struggle and nobody respected any merit or academic excellence now i have a different view now not that i discard uh, uh the points that uh, chetan bhagat mentions connections and uh, political correction corruptions and so forth they are there and uh, they will continue to be there this is not unique for india this is unique for most third world countries i have traveled all over the world and the third world countries all suffer from the same kind of problems that india is suffering but now i have a different approach which i wanted to share with you that's why i'm uh, doing this video what in india wants what in what in india want is for the youth to recognize in spite of corruption in spite of no respect for merit in spite of uh, uh, the non availability of resources you still can succeed how and the here is this model the model is you create your own reality the thoughts that come to your mind do matter nothing matters because the thoughts that come to your mind really decide the kind of life you are going to lead now look at chetan bhagat himself if he had just been a novelist without no financial background he would not have been as successful as he is today why being an investment banker he knew to manage money many people don't even have financial thinking at all that is very important people have no hope and chetan bhagat talks about the suicide rate going up because they have no hope and hope is a matter of uh, neurology and this is where the most important point lies 
hope is a matter of neurology. Frustration is also a matter of neurology. It is, uh, of course, it's not about uh, political corruption and all other things. They they do. They, they are there. We cannot do anything about the politicians. You know, they are they continue to be corrupt, and we have been watching that. But then you can control your uh, yourself by using these uh, these sounds. And these sounds can change your psychology, can change your biology. By changing your psychology and biology, it can also change your outside. If you go on just feeding uh, your brain with prosperity phonemes, the brain will change. And the inner is going to decide the outer. And this is not simply a, a philosophy. Now, uh, I wa uh, following my research at the Brain Science International in San Francisco, I've been able to go to Harvard Business School where we are doing some brain mapping studies with uh, the sounds. So the results are, have been progressing now and the, uh, the results will be available pretty soon. I just want to uh, talk about a research which I did with the medical students uh, in uh, SRM medical schools. The medical students are very stressed out. And then um, this was done about a few years ago and we were able to reduce their uh, stress level and they wanted where is the proof we want to see the proof in terms of in, in concrete proof so we found uh, the stress hormones come down cortisol come down so that leads to another theory that any experience you have is a matter of not only neurology which I just mentioned earlier on but it's also a matter of a chemistry if you are joyful, it is, you know, oxo oxytocin, sexual joy is oxytocin. And if you are sleepy all the time, the melatonin. And if you are fearful, it's a matter of amygdala. If you are very compassionate and also more intelligent, it is a matter of the one economo neuron. So we are now living at a time that science is giving valid proof that uh, all our experiences are a matter of neurology and neurochemistry. So when I just give a people a sound, no, I don't believe in all these things. So you need a concrete proof. Concrete proof is coming out from university researches. So for India, then what is necessary is uh, let the let the uh, research from Harvard and other places. Uh, come out and then uh, whenever they are due, I think in six months, I will be able to come out with some results for you. But existing results also says that we are able to do significant things with, uh, uh, with the sounds. And India's uh, strength is, uh, uh, we have a lot of population. It's not really the population strength is not to be looked down upon. Because it's people, there's so much consciousness available. But the consciousness the available is loaded with frustration, negativity, and suicidal tendencies. To me, they are uh, chemical imbalances, neurological uh, malfunctioning. And when you uh, change them, then this uh, huge population we have, will become an asset. And this is what the young Indians need. And people like Chetan Bhagat, uh, who has a lot of following, may want to look at this uh, model, from strictly from a scientific point of view, and then uh, and look at the literature uh, that already has been published will be able to do a lot to change uh, India's future. God bless.